Good day, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great. This morning, we are going to work on a word problem. A rocket is launched from the top of a 96 feet building with an initial velocity of 64 feet per second. The height of the rocket is given by H sub T or H parenthesis T, H of T is equal to minus 16 T square plus 64 T plus 96. Find the time it takes the rocket to hit the ground. That is find H sub zero or H of zero. The value of the function H at T equal to zero basically. So let's um, do the solution. So H sub T is given as minus 16 T square plus 64 T plus 96. Now we are required to find the time it takes the rocket to hit the ground which is H sub <coughs> Basically, let me <laughs> write it correctly. Basically, we want to find the time it takes the rocket to hit the ground where the height is zero is equal to minus 16 T square plus 64 T plus 96. Now, let us remind ourselves that 16 times one is 16, 16 times four, is 64 and 16 times 6 is 96. So divide both sides by both sides of the equation. Sides of the equation by minus 16. By minus 16. Okay. So let's uh, create some space and let's move this. Okay. So we get uh, zero divided by minus 16 is equal to minus 16 divided by minus 16 t square. Sorry. Give me a minute to fix this. So t square is in the numerator plus 64 t divided by minus 16 and plus 96 divided by minus 16. So we have zero divided by minus 16 and any number that divides zero, the answer is zero. So zero is equal to minus 16 divided by minus 16 is one t square 64 divided by 16 is 4, but there's a minus sign, so minus 4t. And 96 divided by 16, as I said, is 6, but here there's division by minus, so this is minus 6. Okay, so the final equation is t squared minus 4t minus 6 equal to 0. So compare that with AX square plus BX plus C equal to zero. The standard form, standard form of quadratic equation, quadratic equation. So here A is the coefficient of T square, which is one. B is the coefficient of T which is minus four and C is the constant term by itself, which is minus six. Now, if I create some more space, reduce this apart. Okay. So we will uh, create some space. So T then is equal to using the quadratic formula, using the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula 
Now, please do not quit because I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. And please uh, check out my channel, Math Science Topia, and please subscribe to Math Science Topia because I've solved all kinds of algebra problems just for me. Please check out my playlist, Algebra Problem, in my channel, Math Science Topia. Okay, so using the quadratic formula, uh, we have t is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Let me erase that. Oops. I don't need that. Okay. So... I just wanted to remove this. B square minus 4AC. Whole thing is divided by 2A. So this is minus B. Okay. So T is equal to minus B. My B is minus. So it's minus minus 4 plus minus square root of b square is minus 4 square minus 4. My a is 1 and my c is minus 6. And the whole thing is divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So this will be equal to 2 minuses, make it 4, positive 4, plus minus square root of minus 4 square is 16. Two minuses make it a positive four times six is twenty four. Okay. Divided by two. So this is equal to four plus minus square root of 40 divided by 2. Okay. Now let's create some space. So T is equal to T is equal to 4 plus minus for 40 I can write it as multiple as factor 40 into 4 times 10. So square root of 4 times square root of 10 divided by 2. So which is equal to t is equal to 4 divided by 2 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 divided by 2 multiplied by square root of 10. So t is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 10. Okay. Now, <laughs> square root of 10 will be greater than 3. Why? Will be greater than 3. Because 3 square itself is 9. Since time, time t will always be positive, be positive, the practical value of t is, the practical value of t is, The practical solution for T is for T is 2 plus square root of 10. We ignore the other solution 2 minus square root of 10 because square root of 10 is greater than 3. So 2 minus 3, the number greater than 3 would have made it negative. Time has to be positive. So the only uh, acceptable value for t is 2 plus square root of 10. I stop here today. If you have any question or comment, 
write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. The important tip or hint I wanted to give you at the end of the program is this, that we first reduce the equation to its lowest form by taking out the common multiple of minus 16 on both sides. Why? What is the advantage of doing this? The whole calculation will be with smaller number rather than larger numbers. Furthermore, we ex applied the quadratic formula for solution of ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero. We identified what is a in, in this equation, b square, t square minus 4, t minus 6 equal to zero. We identified a as 1, b as minus 4, and c as minus 6. Then we substituted the values in the quadratic formula solution for the quadratic equation okay uh, important point to note is that we ignored the negative value of time because time has to be positive so only acceptable solution is 2 plus square root of 10. Uh, let me take care of a small thing over here this is this with t square just to make sure Okay, so that's all for today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. My In my channel, Math Science Topia, I've solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. So please check out my playlist algebra problems and there you will find solutions for all kinds of algebra problems and uh, please do not forget to check me out tomorrow when i'll be back with another interesting algebra problem and its solution and thanks for watching have a nice day see you tomorrow take care have a nice day